guys, this is Denise with Family Canine Training here in Orlando talking about puppy potty training today. Actually, this applies to any dog that you're trying to maybe retrain or start potty training because they're having issues or you got a brand new puppy just like this one. This one's eight weeks old. Um, okay, let's get right on to it. I'll try not to blab too much. Sometimes I do that. I'm sorry. First thing you're going to need to potty train your dog, a crate. Yes, I know there's plenty of people out there that have dogs that have never been crate trained and they're potty trained, great. Most dogs are going to need some kind of plan, some kind of structure. Also a food schedule. A food and water schedule is very important so you know when your dog's going to the bathroom. It's just is. If you're going to work, yeah, and now she's nipping me. If you're going to work and you need to leave your puppy by themselves, you can't afford to pay somebody or it's just not in your budget to get a walker or something like that, and you made that boo-boo before you got your puppy or your dog, then okay, I've got a solution for you. That's a separate video, please look for that. That is a, um, I'm going to work, I don't have time, potty training solution. This one is gonna be for, you know, you're gonna put the crate in the effort with the crate and all that stuff, okay? So you're, you might need a, a fitted, um, a fitted crate for the first couple of days. I had Arrow in this crate for like three days. And then I tried her on the one with a little bit of more room so it's a bit more comfortable for her. So this is how it fit. She can stand up in there, sit up in there, and stretch out sorta, but when she stands up straight, it was a little, just a little bit tight. But it really helps the first couple of days. Some people are against that. I get heat, come on. I got heat for that, but it works really, 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 really well. It's not forever, and you're letting the puppy out. Again, that's if you're letting the puppy out. The only way you're going to feel bad for this is the puppy staying in there all day, 8 hours, 10 hours, 12, while you go to work. That is not cool. I'm home. I work from home, obviously, training dogs. So I was able to give her tons of, tons of, tons of free time, exercise time. So this, when she got in here... All she did was go to sleep. It didn't seem so bad. All right. So now she's in her bigger kennel. The problem with um, the real estate, all right, having a very big kennel, the problem with that is, is that the puppy can find a corner for them to go to the bathroom. They can soil their bedding and uh, they'll go to the bathroom in there, okay? Uh, essential for potty training, before I even forget, is for you to have a leash. Preferably a really long one like this, right? So you know where the puppy is at at all times. Why does that matter? If the puppy, if you know where the puppy's at and the puppy's with you tethered to a leash, so that means you can take her wherever you go, you can catch the bad potties. And if the puppy's gonna do a bad potty, all you're gonna do is say no, scoop the puppy up, and take it outside to its spot. Shh. Hey, no. I have a, a potty pan here. And this is, I'm going to talk about this, okay? The breeder started her on pine pellets, or you can start your dog on pine pellets. I'll include a link where you can get pine pellets or ideas. And a, a recyclable tray. All this stuff can't be forever. What's going to happen is the puppy, the dogs are going to end up chewing this, eating it. This is why I tell people to crate train. Same thing that goes with the pad, okay? They have these apartments, right? So it'll be, it'll be the crate, It'll be a, an apartment and it'll be a pad in it. You know what I use these for? To clean. You don't let mommy work. Ah, 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 ah. So what ends, up hap what ends up happening with those puppy apartments is part of, part of it'll be crate, it'll have a hole and then a pad. Then it'll have a pad in one corner, so your puppy actually uh, starts getting used to going to the bathroom in the kennel. Your puppy doesn't know how to differentiate, not that this is expensive, a pottery barn rug, okay, this is actually five bucks, versus a pad, and they're going to start going inside your house, especially if you're giving them too much freedom. What's, you know, provide your puppy structure. What structure? A kennel. So that means... Uh, a, a daily act, a daily routine for your puppy. So kennel time, play time, which is usually play time, work time for a puppy this age, right? Just like the videos that you've been watching, you're fulfilling your puppy 
and you're also providing it structure which helps you with the potty training um, you know all together it really really does so when I say lots of structure no free roaming that's what that means people have an issue with this and people struggle with their dogs uh, because it's you know it's like why have a dog if you're gonna keep it in the cage all day don't you want to keep your furniture and all this stuff intact I'm gonna make a separate video about toys this puppy's really young right now, she can't destroy much, but she will. So if your puppy's free roaming, you haven't kennel trained it, you haven't potty trained it, which goes hand in hand, you're going to have a destroyed home. Not only that, there's a potential risk to the, to the dog. They could chew on something they're not supposed to. Uh, like for example, she likes to find free kibble everywhere, diarrhea. We're talking about a whole bunch, a ton of problems besides you know the puppy getting into trouble and you having to give it surgery. Tons of dogs swallow stuff every day, die, or need really expensive surgery. Why aren't you guys crate training your dog? For potty training, besides a leash, a kennel, a potty plan, a feeding and water schedule, right? I understand there's some dogs um, that get real sick without um, having a, you know food around the clock. Before, before you put your, your puppy for bed at night, you can give it a few kibble. You can throw a couple kibbles in there. Um, or fill a con with peanut butter and leave it in there as long as the dog is not able to chew it all up and tear it all up and ingest it and cause it issues. And you should be fine with blood sugar issues, okay? And if you have sugar issues, you should be seeing your vet. You're going to need cleaning supplies. So I put paper towels on there, but like I said, I like to use the pads for cleaning. So, and there's plenty of cleaning products that are pet friendly. Um, that you can get online or at the pet stores to clean up any messes. They say that you're not supposed to bathe puppies like this and use sh uh, shampoo, but you, the breeder for her has been using diluted Johnson & Johnson's uh, baby shampoo, and then there's another uh, uh, earth one that I will share the link to as far as you know, using for the puppy for, for bathing. Uh, what happens is that their skin gets really dry. That's all. It's not like you can harm them, keep it away from you know, their face and stuff. Biggest thing, crate. So if you get, if you see the crate that it, that it's too big, hopefully you get a crate that it comes with a divider. Uh, I haven't seen very many plastic kennels that come with dividers. I do like the wire ones because if you start the puppy off early, you shouldn't have an issue with the dog breaking out or doing stuff in the wire kennel that they're not supposed to because you're teaching it not to. So potty training and crate training go together. The doggy don't is one of the devices that I use. It sounds like a, a taser. It's a real annoying sound. And um, when the puppy's crying, I'll either, you know, just shake it a little bit or use a doggy don't or a peg convincer or something like that or bonk the kennel. Remember, you're not angry when you're doing that. You're not going to, uh, you're not going to uh, ruin the relationship between you and your dog because you're giving the dog everything. You're actually using a balanced approach. You're giving it love, you're giving it attention, you're playing with it, uh, you're taking it places, okay? You're doing a little bit of everything, but you're also taking care of those behaviors in the kennel. So the first few days um, with Arrow, I had her in the kennel by my bed, either on a bed table, the recliner that I had there is very stable, right? You can't toss the, the kennel over. Um, or on the side or on the bed itself during the day. I didn't want her to feel like she got abandoned so she could see people. By day three, she was transitioned uh, over here with uh, my dog Max, the, the red lab that I have. And she's been sleeping great next to, Mac, next to Max. So it's like she integrated in the pack. If you don't have another dog to do that with, maybe for the first week, You'll have your dog um, in your room with you, right? I would put an alarm clock, an hour, two hours. You're gonna gauge your dog. It's gonna be a struggle the first few days. And you're gonna see um, what time frame you need for your dog. Some of them are gonna be like every hour on the money. Some of them are gonna be two to three. If you're on a food schedule, you're gonna learn very quickly. She can handle three, she can handle four. This one can handle it actually all night, maybe with one in between so far, right? Um, so schedule is everything, food schedule. So if you've got the puppy in your room, you're gonna set a timer for yourself to get up, take the puppy out. That way the puppy knows outside is the potty, outside. So the grass that I have here is because we've been getting flooded. And when I mean flooded, I don't have the, 
the, the drainage, the appropriate drainage that I'm supposed to have and we're swamped. This puppy with a little bit of vaccines, eh, I don't want to walk in that. I don't want her to walk in that. So I do have grass here just in case. Good, let's go. Part of potty training is taking the dog to the bathroom right away when they get up. Right after they eat, when they're this young. After they play, during play, especially if it's long. Good potty, and then rewarding. Careful not to startle the dog so the potty doesn't stop. Good girl. You know, so they don't stop at mid-track. You can do praise, or you can do kibble, or you can do both. Good girl. That going on the grass gets her a reward. So that was easy and simple, but you can do that as well. So if you start the dog on the pine pellets, and maybe with a tray, you can transition into the grass or do both at the same time for when you're ready. If you start a large breed dog like this, pottying indoors, you're going to have to be diligent also with the kennel, with that other video that I'm talking to you about, because this dog's gonna get very big. I don't want her pottying inside. So I want to steer away from the pen, but if you've gotta do it, you've gotta do it. I'm gonna show you the setup uh, in that video. It's gonna be a pen, right? You're gonna have your potty set up, and you're still gonna have to give her crate time while you're home. That's how you can start the potty training outside as well. So it's gonna be, two spots for a while but eventually when that dog gets six months seven months eight months she should already have he or she should have a good idea that outside is better to go potty because you're reinforcing so you are rewarding every single time that she does it correctly if you have to go the playpen route because you're working you have a little dog that's never gonna grow big and you don't mind the smell and going on pads as long as they're not chewing the pads and they know where to go fine but guess what they're going to have accidents around the house they're going to and some of the boys may even start marking you're going to have problems regardless so a lot of people with the little dogs are in apartments well, like, oh, I don't mind, you know, I clean up after them, I don't mind. Or well, they put pads everywhere. And it's, it may start being a mess, and you may encourage your dog to mark if you're not giving it structure or rules in other aspects of its life, like on the walk, like nipping and doing things that you don't like. All that stuff goes in hand in hand. If you don't have structure, if you don't have rules, clear rules of what you like and what you don't like, you're, it's going to reflect and the potty behaviors and the walking barking and all this other stuff okay so that's why i say a little bit of everything keep everything short and sweet and you're gonna have a great time uh once you get started on the potty training so as you can tell once i put her in the kennel she's quiet if you've been watching um facebook and instagram whatnot you see that she'll whine and cry when she goes in that kennel it's been let me see four days what's today wednesday uh, let's see it's been yeah, Wednesday, so I got her Saturday. So, Saturday night, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. She's only been here four nights. So you're gonna struggle the first few days, but you've gotta do it. That's why I always say take time off. Take vacation, take time off. Take the first week off, get that first, you know, hard stuff out of the way. You are literally, no pun intended, no, I didn't send it. You're going to be golden. All right? All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I would love to hear some feedback. Check you guys later.